Hi students, let's start with a new chapter called Linear Equations. And uh, Linear Equation is the chapter which we have already studied in class seventh and class six. So we have already touched upon the basics. There are already multiple videos which I've already made on the how we solve the equation. We have done a few videos on fundamental operation which talks about the basics of algebra. So all that are very important before we get into this. But even if you have not seen those videos, I'll try to make it very, very simple. Let's start with the first question, which is uh, x minus 5 into x plus 3 is equal to x minus 7 into x plus 4. So when there is no sign in between, it simply means there is a multiplication sign. Now, how do we multiply the two algebraic expression? We have already studied that multiply first with the first and then first with the second, right? followed by second with the first and second with the second. There is a full one video on this. Let's open it. So how do we multiply? First will be x square, x into x is x square, then plus three x minus five x minus 15. Just see this, x square, x into three is plus three x minus five x and minus five into three is minus 15. Similarly, what we are going to do here is the same x square plus 4x minus 7x minus 28. Great. So now the rule says that all the variables where there is an x, please bring it on one side of the equation and take all the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. So let's do that x square plus 3x minus 5x. This is as it is. Now we are bringing all of these variables on the left hand side. The sign will change when this x square comes on the left hand side, this will become minus x square. When this plus comes on the left hand side, this becomes minus 4x. And this is a minus 7x. So when it comes on the left-hand side, this becomes a plus 7x. This is all what you have to do. And as I said, bring the number on the right-hand side. So we have already minus 28 on the right. And if you bring minus 15 on the right, this becomes plus 15. Next step is very easy. You can see x square and minus x square. This gets canceled plus 3x minus 5x minus 4x plus 7x. Can you solve them together? Yes, this is minus 2x. Minus 2x and minus 4x is minus 6x and minus 6x plus 7x is x. I hope you got this. 3 minus 5 is minus 2x. Minus 2x and minus 4 is minus 6x and minus 6x plus 7x is x. You can have done it in two steps but I am doing it directly, assuming that you know addition and subtraction. So on the left-hand side, we get x, and what we get on the right-hand side is minus 28 plus 15, which is minus 13. So the answer is x is equal to minus 13, and this is how we solve the linear equation. This is so simple. Let's move to this question. Now, in the previous questions, we have studied the identities where we had studied that a minus b whole square, which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. And a plus b whole square, I hope you remember this, a square plus b square plus 2ab. This is what we are going to use here because this is in the same format, a minus b whole square. So let's open the bracket. So what do we get? x square plus 25 minus 10x. Why minus 10x? Minus 2ab. This is a, this is b, minus 2ab is minus 10x. Let's do open the second one. x plus 2 whole square means a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab. Let's do this, x square plus 4 
plus 4x. This is equal to minus 2. Right. Now, the second step should be that I open this bracket and be very careful about that minus sign outside the bracket. Let's do this. x square plus 25 minus 10x minus x square minus 4 minus 4x, right? We are opening the bracket with a minus, so everything will get minus inside, which is equal to minus 2. Now we can solve this. x square is plus, x square is minus. This gets cancelled. Now the second variable, minus 10x, minus 4x is minus 14x. Now we take these numbers on the right hand side, 25 minus 4, which is plus 21 on the left hand side. So this becomes 2 minus 21. Sorry, minus 2. This is minus. Don't forget this minus. Minus 2, minus 21. And how did we get minus 14x? Just to repeat, minus 10x and minus 4x. This is minus 14x. So minus 14x is equal to minus 23. So x is equal to 23 upon 14. This you can you write it as a mixed fraction, which is 1. 14 ones are 14, 9 upon 14. This is equal to x. And this is how we solve the equation. So x is equal to 1, 9 upon 14. And this is the final answer. But what you have to remember is the identities, how we open the identities. Right? Let's come to the third question. Very simple. We will first multiply and open them and then try to see. So again, using this method of multiplication. So x square plus 6x minus x minus 6. x square plus 6x minus x minus 6 minus. Don't forget to put the bracket because this minus is with the entire expression. x minus 2, x minus 3, let's multiply. x square minus 3x mi minus 2x and minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6. And bracket closed. This is equal to 3. Let's open the bracket. What do we get? x square plus 6x minus x minus 6. Now, minus. The moment we put minus for the entire bracket, all these signs will change, right? All these signs will change because there is a minus sign. We have already studied minus x square plus 3x plus 2x and minus 6 is equal to 3. Rule, the same rule, keep all the variables on the left hand side and bring all these numbers on the right hand side. X square and X square gets cancelled. Let's see what is there. 6X minus X is 5X. This is 5X plus 3X is 8X. 8X plus 2X is 10X. So I can simply write 10X. This is equal to 3, which is already there here. Let's bring minus 6 on the right, which becomes plus 6. Let's take minus 6 on the right hand side. This becomes plus 6. So 10x is equal to 15. 9 plus 6, 15. So x is equal to 15 upon 10. This is equal to 3 upon 2. Right? 5 3 is a 15, 5 2 is a 10, 3 upon 2, which is equal to 1, 1 upon 2. So x is equal to 1, 1 upon 2, and this is how we solve the linear equation. I hope with these three examples, I've been able to make you understand how to solve these problems. Very simple, very basics. 
you just can't make any mistake into this. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one.